think we just have one place left to look. You have to forgive the mess right now. We're in the process of uh, getting fire sprinklers put in here. Um, oh. We have overnight accommodations here as well. So um, we had to put the fire sprinklers in and make sure it was uh, all safe. So how many rooms do you have currently? We have three full suites here. Okay. Um, they all have their own bathrooms and their own uh, areas and all that. So. And it's generally for the rides, family, or run the room, they want to stay or whatever. Yeah, two, two, two apart. That last night. Yeah. We have a couple special rooms too, but <laughs> this is going to end up extending if you want to come in here. So this is going to, um, we'll have a bar, a permanent bar built out here so that during the cocktail hours and things we can do that. This will extend it to cover all the way into the ballroom. Our room is not going to be a red brick. It's going to be just like this. It's just got to be painted. Um, it's going to resemble this house, so it'll have the black shutters, the look, all of everything in this house. And when will the ball room be done? Um, it is going to be done probably early April. Okay. And so we're on, we're getting there. It'll go. It, it looks like a big mess, but it'll it'll very quickly transform into. Uh, now we finish the bricking. We're about to have the drywall put in this week, and so it'll chandeliers come in February. So I'll show you the renderings and things when we get downstairs so you can okay, kind of see the inside that's going on. Okay. Yeah, and this, this will have a covered walkway, so when the bride walks out, they should have a covered walkway to get in and have the baby green. Um, so then I would have my amenities from here? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And these are going to be 12-foot doors. It's going to be monster doors. Uh, and then they'll have like, a transom. Okay. Yeah. So they have a couple of options for, and I'll show you the bridal suite. You can kind of go in there. And I'll show you what a lot of people like to do in the common retreat for ceremony as well. If you're considering. The intensive. Oh, the intensive. They have, so they bought this house after the Nauru plantation in Louisiana, and it's a famous 1800s plantation. Film movies there and a bunch of stuff. And uh, so the lady that built this, just she would go out take notes on everything. And so my wife and I got to go visit that to see what it was in. The detail of this one is great. So this is a part of the suite. This is kind of the whole wing of this house. Um, top one here. So this is just kind of a place for your guests to kind of hang out to a mimosa bar, a very there. Let me show you real quick. These all have these nice documents. Now these make a really, really good picture. We're going to be removing this tree um, because we know out here a lot of people want to use this as their canopy and does everything oh, right. here. And it makes really great pictures back against this house. Um, so that is the only thing that makes it asymmetrical when you take the picture. So we're going to take that one back. And then we'll have, you know, if you get me that, hey, well, you, we'll have a walk through here, a cut through here, or depending on which way you want to face, we can kind of bring her around to the other house and, and come out the other way. So there's different yeah, options you can do. Yeah. These are nice trees. Yeah. Oh, they're wonderful. <laughs> when they're green, too, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are looking, though, at about what they're going to look yeah. like in February. In, in February, I'm surprised because it's been relatively warm lately until these last couple of days, but this is usually in February, blooms like crazy. So against that house, that's all red. Um, those, those little plants and bushes are all really red, and, and it's really blooming, but this year's a little bit on the... And when these start to grow green, they go really quickly and turn green. That's how it is. Yep. It is. <laughs> and the, so these, this also makes for great pictures for you and your guys. So take a right. And we'll look at the, we're in the process of finishing up um, the hair and makeup area back here. We debated about taking the bathtub out, but we thought there might be some, some leg sharing and things yes. that <laughs> happen the last minute. Uh, yeah. So there's four different stations. And then this will this wall is gonna be a full mirror on this wall. And then this will have uh, different decorations and hooks and things for the bridesmaids and your dress to hang up there and kind of get really cool pictures and things. I like that uh, gold touch on the wall. Uh, and my wife did that. Oh, she's doing a good job. That's awesome. I'm glad she's done with that. <laughs> <laughs> but each one of these is on its own circuit as well, so you can plug your different hot irons or curling, you know, all the different things. That, so each one's on its own circuit, so you'll have enough power here to be able to. There's two more because we've got to. Alright, here's a full mirror. Yeah. This will be a full mirror. <laughs> and this, this will be your kind of picture wall with the dresses and things that they come on. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, oh, the fans in here are really cool. They're going downstairs and that study as well. It's really fun. Wake up with your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, cause I'm bored. I want to do your balcony. Send out, but you can get some. You can get some great pictures up here. The fountain. The fountains got kind of damaged in the freezes and stuff. So we are. We have the pieces over so they'll be up and going. It's beautiful. They're doing some more construction up here, so I'm not going to fix that. Until Parking's going to be behind the stables over here. I'll, I'll show you. We're going to cut a road in through right, through that set of trees right there, and it'll take you back to the parking area, which will be back in those that field there. Oh, is that the trees we just were looking at from mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be a road going across. It. We are. We're going to we're going to cut. It's going to be just a kind of a gravel um, road that that'll get you over to the other side. Um, we we needed to make it easy for ballet. You know, a lot of people want to do ballet. So we offer a few different ways to do it. If you want to sell park, it's kind of far. Or we have a shuttle service that can bring you back and forth if you want. Or we have LA option as well. So, yeah. So they're going to be opening this up a little bit. So we're not going to fix any of this until they're done with the trucks coming in and out of here, just in case they damage it. But, but we're going to be um, opening that up for drop off for ADA and uh, handicap. So. Just have to imagine a little bit with yeah. all the construction going on. It's, this is a really beautiful place, and I hate seeing it like this, but I'm really happy that the ballroom's going up. We can walk in there and get kind of see and get a vision. Are these the? So that's the first. That's the first of one of the uh, overnight suites. They're all a little bit different. They all have um, a little different feel to them. Through. And then there's a little family area in there, or if if at your wedding you didn't want to have um, children or anything, you can you can have somebody come up here and kind of watch them. And we'll, we'll have different uh, things for them to do in here. Or if the family stays here, it's just a kind of a cool place to hang out and gather. Oh, is this another? That's the green room. Great. <laughs> we were we were gonna change it, but it's starting to grow on me. <laughs> the other option you can kind of see from here, and, and you have to use your imagination a little bit just because of all the, all the stuff out here, but that tree right there, it's a 150-year-old oak tree, and it has a 162-foot canopy. So it's very, we, we have some shots, and I'll show you downstairs, of uh, kind of mock weddings and things you've done there, so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. But it's, it's a, you know, they'll have a nice path kind of carved out there, too. Uh, so as soon as you, know, you get all that kind of cleaned up, it'll... It'll be very nice, and we'll have a big area that you can do and wedding there as well. I like this uh, wood behind the scenes. That's yours? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how they do that, but <laughs> <laughs> what's in here? It's just a closet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's a nice thing too if you're staying here to be able to put everything in there yeah. and have to, not have to worry too much. And we want to make sure that everybody doesn't feel rushed and you know. This is my favorite room in the house coming out. This is another place you can use for Atlanta accommodations and things, but Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We figured Ooh. that the, the, the bridesmaids and stuff will probably want to hang out here a little bit too during the, you know, during the time. Oh, my name. That's awesome. I love it. Well, like the, is that Corinthian? Is that what they call them? Yeah, I don't know. I just call this kind of like the Gatsby room. I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Gatsby yeah, room. Yeah, attention to detail that they did. It's just yeah, amazing. It's and with the theaters system that they have in here, the sound and everything, like if you watch Jurassic Park, you feel your water go, like it's, it's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> that's, that's a good uh -huh. one like, for the kids and stuff, you know. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I like this. Yeah. These stairs take you back into the kind of kitchen area and all that. 
Uh, but we'll go back down this way. And then if you want, we're, the Grimm's house is under construction. And if you guys want to walk out there, we can go look at it. Um, check it out and see if it's something that you know, you want to look, you don't mind. A little walk. That's absolutely Well, it's good. We're under this. There's a lot of different things I can do. So this balcony will extend. So it'll be a straight walk from here or from up there? It'll, well, you won't be able to walk from up there. That's just covered up there. Okay. Um, we'll end up ending that wall there for a bar or whatever. Um, you'll be able to see the bar and all that. And all the but this will extend to where you can walk into the opening. resemble that movie theater upstairs, the look of it. Be kind of like that gas you look. Um, this is a lower area over here, so we have the lighting set that where we can fade the lighting down and in so that if you're just kind of smaller, it doesn't look like an old one. Yeah, so in each of these coves here, um, there'll be about a 20 foot chandelier. I think it's 20 by 10. They're very long rectangular chandeliers. So there'll be one, there'll be three of them. Uh, there's in between these um, metal things back here, the big square, it's kind of a stage back there. So if you want to have a band or whatever, or you guys want to be in back there, or however you want to set it up, it's going to be very, very customizable that you can do. Kind of there'll be three other chandeliers here. The bar will have three. There'll be three more over here. And then this is another entrance from, you know, if you get me with that, uh, to, that to be able to come in this way. There'll be another chandelier there. And so, it's not going to look like just a big open room. We'll have big, nice arches um, on all of these here. So even the space out a little bit. These walls over here will have two fireplaces on them. They're, they're not like not like the old school fireplace. It's going to be like the rectangular, really cool look. It, it's it's designing it a really cool look. Uh, more than so, the kitchen will be back there. So all that stuff back there is going to be the kitchen and mushrooms and all that. So, our chefs will cook everything here on site, so it's fresh and it's it's really good. When we, do that. we just we we wanted to get away from kind of the catering where you know the food quality can not be as good. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so you want to check out the groom's house? Sure. Stuff. And so, so this is going to be the pool table room. So the pool table will be under these three lights. Okay. Um, this this will be kind of a bar area and all that. We'll have a keg and stuff like here for the guys. A little glassware, fridge, ice maker, and all that stuff. Um, so <laughs> um, we'll have kind of a bar, little setup back here, um, pool table equipment, and all the different things there. 
this will be for the guys who will watch TV, game, Xbox, whatever. So we'll have a flat screen on the wall there, furniture and things in here. Um, we have the magic cows just sitting here. Poker room, poker table, uh, foosball table, shuffleboard table. So just guys take 30 minutes to get ready. So yeah. they need something to do. <laughs> You'd rather them be here than be out somewhere else. So we try to, try to give them a fun experience and stuff here. Then this is kind of a changing room, kind of the locker room in here that we're in the process of finishing up. So, we're going to have several lockers, benches, um, all spaced throughout here. Um, there's nice lighting on top, full bathroom, shower, and all that. So, in February, you're probably not going to be using the pool or anything. But, uh, <laughs> but this, this it ends up making for really, really nice pictures um, when it's all done and finished. Or, you know, hang your tuxes or something like that. I've never seen anything this big for the group. Yeah. Really? I, I just said I'm not doing it that <laughs> you know, As I've gone to these other venues and there's nothing for them. No. And, and they have, they really only take 30 minutes to get ready. It doesn't take long. Yeah. You know, so. They're, they're the ones that have to wait. They have to wait. So they're going to have fun while they wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or, it doesn't look like it, but we're all going to just hang a couple of other things here and there. Start the furniture. If you guys want to see the pool area. <laughs> what is the room? Depending on the weather, this can be used. Depending on however you want to use it. So basically, you, you have it all day. Yeah. Yeah. So What's the your, your wedding thing? I think there's a 12 hour for set up and ceremony and, and uh, reception and all that. But we want you guys to be able to come to our class. That's not in your time frame. We want you guys to be able to come ready and relax and all that stuff. And get settled and prepared for all your set up. So we've looked at um, a total of eight venues. We still have one more to go. Um, it's the Chateau Polonais. Um, I'm really looking forward to that one. I, it's really beautiful. It's, um, you know, I think it's going to be up there on the top. But mm -hmm. I think we have basically have narrowed it down to two. And it's the one we just saw, the Sandalwood, and the, the Chateau Kokomor. Those, I think, are, are my absolute favorites. So um, depending on how the Chateau Polonaise goes, um, I think it's going to be between those three. I think it'll probably just come down to price, which I think they're all in the same price range, which is expensive. Wait, do you think this one's going to end up being the same price as the Well, I Coco think Mar it kind of calculated um, it, and it's kind of similar. It's kind of like Kokomar. Kokomar is actually not that... But Kokomar is, has like so many floors and everything. It doesn't seem the same size as this. This one seems smaller. It's smaller, but it still is beautiful I think. Um, Kokomar is just more royal and I want to feel like a queen. I feel like know? I just need to see it again. Kokomar? No this. One. When it's done? Yeah. Um, we'll definitely come back and see it. Um, if this is the one we choose then we'll definitely be back to see once it's remodeled and stuff like that but the idea that they have with the chandeliers and everything I think it's going to be I think it's going to come out looking beautiful. Okay now I want to know Terry's steps too. This is part of this too. So you're being recorded. Oh, hello. You want to tell us your thoughts on the venues we've seen and what your thoughts on how you feel about them? Um, I really like the one we just came from, Sandalwood, but it wasn't finished up yet. So a lot of it is your imagination. But they had the computer renderings of what it's supposed to look like, and it looks like it's going to be amazing. So it's probably up there. I think it's it's probably my favorite as well. Yeah. So. We have, I told them we have one more 
So from there on Tuesday, I think we should, we'll sit down and look at everything and we'll pick from one of those. Does that mean we need all the videos uploaded by Tuesday? It would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Since we're going home early, I'm going to have the, okay. the Kokomara. Okay, cool. All right.